Well, good afternoon and welcome to this week's show of Next Stop Auction Block. I'm Katie Kaufman and alongside of me, as always, is the manager of Superior Productions Purebred Division, Mr. Jason Barber. And you made time this week to sit down with me right before you get on a plane and, and head out again. Well, of course, I do what I can for you, Katie. <laughs> well, uh, we are uh, in the last week of October. We're getting into the month of November. And like you always say, we're going to have a lot of bull auctions. Uh, but just recap on a few. One that comes to mind is R.A. Brown Ranch. We just had his auction not that long ago. I even sat down on the bid line for maybe 10 lots. But out of the 600 or however many, there, you know. Sure. Pretty, no. pretty minor. Well, it was a great <laughs> auction. If, if you're on the bid line, then you saw how big it was and how long it was. I think the auction started at 9 a.m. and went till after 5. Wow. It sold around 800 lots. I mean, it was a great, great sale. Uh, they had so many buyers there that bought in volume, and we had several volume buyers over Superior. I think for that day, we ended up selling over 100 lots for $420,000 worth over Superior. So it was active. Throughout the day, the Angus bull sold great. The red Angus bull sold great. I mean, the, the entire sale was excellent. It was uh, very comparable to last year, I'd say, as far as the average. Now, they didn't announce an official average afterwards, so I, I don't know where it would be, but it would definitely be extremely good. Wow, you said you were even impressed with the bread heifers there at the end? Really, the, the females that they sold at the end, I mean, sold really, really strong. It's incredible how well they sold. Are there any other auctions that come to mind in October that uh, you were impressed with? Yeah, there's, well, honestly, just about every auction we've had so far, they've all been uh, up a little bit or just right where they were last year. So, uh, They've all been real impressive. That same week, we also had Powell Herefords and we had Dudley Brothers Herefords, and both those auctions were up from last Brother year. Brother Dudley. That's right, John <laughs> Dudley. <laughs> well, you are getting on a plane and uh, heading south Texas mm -hmm. today. Where are you headed? Well, actually, Thomas Charlet. Uh, that's, you know, we always talk about that, that place. It's down there, not too far from Mexico, but um, that sale is actually going to be broadcast on RFD for the first time. Normally it's just broadcast online, but definitely expected to be a, a very good sale. And it's another one of those where they sell quite a few. I mean, it'll be close to 200 bulls. And uh, it's so far down south that the people that come to buy, they combine volumes too. So it's not one that's just got a crazy crowd there, but the bulls all sell well and they get them sold. So Right. And um, in talking about the bull auctions for the fall season, it really kind of happens in regions or am I just imagining that? Do you feel like we kind of travel? No, you're, you're kind of right. I mean, really, it seems like October is more, at least looking at our sales, it's Texas and Oklahoma and really the southwest. And if you look into November and into December, we really kind of shift to Montana. Of course, we've, we've got a few sales in the southeast in Tennessee and, and Georgia coming up. So, you know, but for the most part, it seems like we're done for with Texas and Oklahoma after the end of November. Or excuse me, the end of October. Right. And uh, we've all been so excited because we've been getting rain down here and it's it's been a good thing. You know, it's definitely <laughs> uh, giving people better spirits coming into bull sale season. And so far, it seems like it's got an impact because Honestly, all the sales we've had, they've been up a little bit from last year. Yeah, we love that. Well, uh, moving away from bull auctions just for a second and uh, moving into horse auctions, we have um, the world champion Appaloosa mm -hmm. horse sale this week. Um, it's going to be actually on Halloween over there at Will Rogers Coliseum in, in Fort Worth. And then also um, the Superior Family Horse Auction. We've talked about that for months. It's happening this Saturday. And um, I've told you that I've been editing a lot of the horses that are going to be in the sale. 40 quality horses. Kelly Keller's done a great job. And we even are going to show an extensive preview on the show today. Well, great. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it'll be a good sell. Of course, you'll be here for the Superior Family Horse Sale. I'll be at, at Burns Farms Herefords that day, but right. You know, I'm sure I'll get a good report. And yeah. uh, are you planning on being at the <laughs> sale at Will Rogers on Halloween? You know, I am. Kelly asked if I would clerk the clerk the sale, and I guess we're. She's kind of. Uh, she told us that Superior Productions is acting really as like the sale day manager over there for the Appaloosa sale. So she asked me to clerk, and I said. I think I'm up for the task. Well, uh, Do you think I could handle I it? I think so. Yeah, she <laughs> asked me if I'd work the ring there, and, I'm, and she told me I cannot back out of it. She said, <laughs> and, oh, so and you're going to be on hand, well, too. Well, she said in our last production meeting, she said, you know, everybody heard you say, Jason, you're going to be here for it. And then 
Joe, of course, sends me an email saying, I need you in Kansas on that day. Oh, no. What are you doing in Kansas? Well, I'm probably going to go visit a, a rancher who's having a production sell that day. Oh, okay. Try to get some new business. Great. Hey, we like that. And in, in, in going to get try and get new business, you do also talk um, a lot at producer meetings. Mm -hmm. Talk about, have you been to any recently? You know, I think the last one that I went to was in August. Um, had quite a few this summer and, and back kind of late spring and of course I just go there and talk about all things good more on superior livestock than superior productions but right. of course we invite people who don't sell on superior already to come and you know hear what we have to say and what the advantages of on selling with superior are and you know hopefully recruit some new buyers right new sellers excuse me and I know one thing that you really like to talk about is superior progressive genetics especially on the commercial side of things sure um, that's one of the one of the things that I really have a hand in here uh, manage that program and of course it's just another value-added program on superior livestock but uh, we actually got reports from our big study we do at the end of the summer that kind of goes uh, over all of our big summer sales and I know it's not official right. so I, you know I, I don't want to say a whole lot on it but right. they showed uh, so far that superior progressive genetics actually had a premium this summer of a dollar ninety two per hundred weight which last summer it was I believe a dollar eighty two or dollar eighty three so okay. it, it continues to grow and you know when you spread that out across an entire load of cattle that adds up in a hurry right and those value-added programs help so not only our commercial um, side uh, customers but also the superior production customers because they all coincide um, with one another and it's represented not only on national television through RFD TV, rural TV but also in our catalogs that go out to nearly 7,500 buyers across the country. That's right I mean you know the primary goal of superior progressive genetics is to get the commercial cattlemen a premium but at the same time it offers such great advertising and exposure for the sea stock producer from where those bulls were purchased from right. And, and right now when you see the print catalog you just see that progressive genetics logo in there and you don't see the sea stock ranch logo in there but if you go to the online catalog you'll see the sea stock oh. ranchers logo and then of course on sale day great be on screen Really great. Well, we're going to run a commercial break, and when we come back, we're going to go through your RFD TV and Rural TV schedule. And I wore my watch today, and I'm going to time you You're on this, me, okay? <laughs> all right. Well, uh, we want to thank you all so much for joining us today on Next Stop Auction Block, and uh, we'll be back right after this. Express Ranch is located in Yukon, Oklahoma, is ranked as the largest seed stock producer in the United States by the National Cattlemen's Beef Association. Express features six Angus production sales annually, offering industry-leading breeding bulls and females for the purebred and commercial cattlemen. Let Express be your destination for your next herd sire or foundation female. Call Express today for more information, and we'll see you at the next sale. The Working Ranch Cowboys Association brings you their 17th World Championship Ranch Rodeo November 8th through the 11th in Amarillo, Texas. Championship Ranch Bronc Riding, Ranch Rodeo Events, Cowboy Poetry, and a great trade show. The Amarillo Civic Center is where all the cowboys and cowgirls will be. Superior Livestock Auction and Superior Productions too. Come find our booth on the North Concourse. For more information, log on to WRCA.org and we'll see you there. Join Superior Livestock on Thursday, December 13th at noon central for our Superior Dairy Auction. Featuring dairy replacement heifers and springers on RFD TV. Do you have dairy cattle that you'd like to sell? Or are you in the market to buy? Contact Superior Livestock today at 800-422-2117 or learn more about our upcoming auctions at superiorlivestock.com and market your cattle the superior way. Well, welcome back, folks. Jason's going to run through the schedule for the upcoming months of all of our purebred auctions, and we'll probably touch on a few superior livestock auctions that we have scattered throughout the throughout the rest of the year. But I uh, cannot. We're approaching December. It's going to be here before we know it. I know. I'm actually kind of <laughs> ready. But uh, Katie made me promise that I would run through these pretty quick. Really so I'm, I'm going to give a little Any bit more of a description you. on the auctions coming up in the next two weeks, and then after that, we're just rolling. Yeah. All right? And then we're going to have these purebred uh, folks call me and tell me that I need to just cool it so mm -hmm. you can run through and talk about all the, all their good stuff yep. but anyway okay well we've already touched <laughs> on the Wednesday and Saturday horse auctions that are yep. this week uh, like I said earlier I'm actually gonna be at Barnes 
Burns Farms <laughs> Herefords on this Saturday. And that's in uh, Tennessee. That's right. Okay. It's in uh, Pikeville, Tennessee. It'll be a really good sale. Um, they had their first one with us back this spring. Right. Uh, Dustin Lake manages it? That's right. Okay. Dustin Lake manages this one, uh, along with quite a few others that we have. But it'll be a good one that I'll be at. Uh, after that, on Thursday, November 1st, excuse me, this is before the Burns one. I missed it, but <laughs> oh, it's on no. here. Thursday, November 1st, will be the Feral Cattle Company, oh, their yeah. high elevation bull sell, be selling 55 elevation tested bulls. So Great. it'll be a good one. It's actually in Riverton, Wyoming on Thursday, November 1st. Um, moving forward, after our Superior Family Horse Sale, which is that Saturday, we're actually going to have a sale that following Monday, which is Three Trees 2012 Millardin sale. It's going to be in Woodbury, Georgia. And it's actually going to be selling 100 coming two year old Angus bulls, followed by 100 plus November and December yearling Angus bulls. Oh, great. And you really like that ranch? I do. Uh, Dick Beck, the manager of that ranch, is a guy who's really familiar with the Angus breed and uh, really passionate about what he does. He's also a guy that, if you watch the Express uh, female sales and quite a few other sales, I know like the, the Best of the West sale that we have here in Fort Worth in, in the end of January, he's a guy that gets up there and talks about the pedigrees and oh, okay. you know gives a really good sure. description. So obviously he knows his pedigrees as well as anybody in the Angus breed. Great. But uh, definitely a, a good man. Um, after that, sale that I'm going to be at will be ZWT Ranch in Crossville, Tennessee on Friday, November 9th. We'll be selling 130 18 to 26 month old Angus bulls and 70 bred commercial heifers. Okay. So be a good one. And that's on Friday, November 9th. Uh, that same day, we've also got the 5L Red Angus Fall Bull Sale in Sheridan, Montana. So you see, we're, we've got these southeast <laughs> sales and then, you know, in Montana. Right, then you jump November, up to Montana. But, uh, yeah. John Anders will be at that one. And 5L, of course, will be selling 150 right for the Tom's Red Angus Bulls. They always have a really good sale. And, and that normally they do their sales without running anything through the ring. It's all over the television. Oh, okay. Talking about John Anders, he's been calling me a lot, uh, asking me when I'm, we're going to be taping Auction Block and when I'm going to be on the, when you and I are going to both be on the road together and, and, and going to meet up with him at a stock growers convention or something. I think he's getting his feelings hurt a little bit that he hasn't been on the show lately. <laughs> That's just me. He, he might, you know, <laughs> uh, I'm just, you know, feel fortunate that we're actually here in Fort Worth at the same time, you know, right. regardless of trying to figure out where we're both going to be at in the future. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> John. But uh, uh, going forward, we've got another cell that's in Tennessee. It's in Fayetteville. It's going to be Deer Valley Farms. Focus on the future, six female cell. And it's going to be Saturday, November 10th. And following this cell, they're actually going to have a big bull cell with us afterwards. Oh. And uh, Deer Valley's a new customer of ours, Jonathan Perry's the manager up there. It's actually an excellent Angus outfit up there. So for people in the area that want some, you know, quality Angus bulls, you can look at either ZWT Ranch or Deer Valley. Okay. Great. Yeah, I so, have to say you're going through this pretty quick. Okay, I know. I'm about to really be going through it quick. <laughs> then uh, moving forward to Monday, November 12th, we've got the Feral Cattle Company annual fall bull sale. And this sells their normal fall sale. They'll be selling 250 okay. grass-tested, forage-tested bulls. So. Great. And Kit Farrow. That's uh, Cowboy Auction. Yeah, the Cowboy Auction. And also, um, I do get his weekly emails. He is always um, very, very diligent in sending out. To, uh, I every say, Sunday. Yeah, every Sunday. Or then I feel like I get one on a Wednesday, too. But great information, not only in the cattle industry, Industry, but um, he has great faith in the Lord, and, and he uh, sends out really great emails every week. So if you want to get on his mailing list, I'm sure he'd love that. Yeah, I'm sure you can call him right up. <laughs> yeah. Um, next cell, and here's when we're getting oh, to talk about. Oh, great! For a you want to just pass over it? <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be Wednesday, November 14th, in San Saba, Texas. It's the Barber Ranch <laughs> Annual Hereford uh, Fall Bull Sale. Oh my gosh, it's your family's mm -hmm. sale. And I always <laughs> enjoy coming to that one. Uh, this time, Eddie Sims is our auctioneer, but Dustin Layton is also the auctioneer that day. So oh, not cool. only does he manage sales, but he's also the auctioneer. Great. Uh, of course, he sold on our March female sale. So he's a good auctioneer. But anyway, enough talking about those guys. <laughs> it'll be some really good. It'll be 100 plus bulls. Uh, be about 20 registered Hereford females too. But uh, be a really good bull sale. Uh, be a lot of two-year-old bulls, horned and pulled Herefords. Last year, the sale averaged close to 4,600, so it was, you know, one of the stronger sales. I mean, it's not Great. a huge sale, but it'll be a good one. So. Oh, wonderful. So, of course, it'll be for, good to see your family. Mm -hmm, so, for anybody needing Hereford Bulls, here's definitely a place yeah. to look. Yeah, Mr. Barber, are you listening? <laughs> oh, on top of that, there will be 20 to 30 Express Ranch Ranches Angus Bulls in there, too, oh. and about 10 Marty Charlets. So, 
you know, three different breeds of bulls One here. Place. So that's right. Just come there and get what you need. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> that same day, yeah, back to back on RFD. I think every sale we've talked about so far has been on RFD, but right after that, it's going to be the Evans Farms. Angus Bull sell, they'll sell 150, 18 month old plus bulls. Uh, last year was actually one of the really good sales we had. I expect that one to be real strong this year too. But that's uh, actually going to be in Proctor, so here close to Fort Worth, you know, right outside of Stephenville, uh, Wednesday, November 14th. Then the final couple sales that I'm going to talk about in detail. Uh, oh the next my goodness! One is, uh, Did you hear that? <laughs> then we're going to run through them. Is Ludwig's and Sock Farms Herd Builder Sell Fall Edition. It's in Park City, Montana, Thursday, uh, November 15th. So the day after my family sell. It's Ryan Ludvigson who we've had on the show a couple yeah, times. Yeah, great so, guy. Mm -hmm, it'll be a great sell. Uh, the next one will be Saturday, November 17th. It's going to be the R River Bend. Ranch genetic edge bull cell and maternal excellence bred female cell. So they'll sell 130 Angus bulls and 800 commercial Angus bred heifers. So that's great. And what, what day is that? It's going to be Saturday, November 17th. So okay. a lot of commercial bred heifers. Wonderful. And of course, some good bulls. You know, their sale back in March is one of the largest sales we've had this year. Great. So, Well, I'm going to, before you run through and your short list there, we're going to run a commercial break. We're actually going to preview all the horses, or I shouldn't say all of them, but a majority of the horses for the upcoming sale okay. this Saturday. And then before we wrap up the show I ran today, long, didn't I? <laughs> before, we wrap, before we wrap up the show today, I'm going to have you go through your short list for the end of November okay. and end of December. Are you okay with that? I'm just fine with that. <laughs> Oh, you're getting good at this. You're getting good at we'll this. We'll see. <laughs> okay, folks, so we're going to run a break. When we come back, um, Jason and I are going to preview, like I said, an extensive group of excellent horses that are going to be selling this Saturday, November 3rd, beginning at 2 p.m. Central on RFD. And if you are in need of a great ranch horse, certainly look no further. We have wonderful horses available to you. So stay with us. We'll be back right after this. <laughs> Cotton & Associates, a sale management and consulting firm, serves industry-leading breeders of registered Angus, Semmental, Burford, and other breeds throughout the U.S. We partner with beef producers that design, engineer, and lead the beef industry. We've been creating and building relationships in the cattle industry for over 25 years. Our goal, to provide services that assist in generating value to your cattle program. Working together, succeeding together. That's Cotton & Associates. Well, welcome back to Auction Block. Uh, like Jason and I were visiting right before the break, we are now going to show you a extensive preview of some of the excellent horses that we'll be selling. That, and you edited all of this, right? I did. I edited a majority of it, okay. so uh, it's weighing on my shoulders. But, <laughs> you know, it wasn't hard to edit. Uh, these horses I'm so impressed with, as I've said through uh, in weeks past, Kelly Keller and everyone here in the Superior Productions office has done a wonderful job getting all these horses sure, together. And the consigners, I mean, the people that put the horses in, they're the ones yes. doing the video work on yes. these horses, right? You're, yeah, you're exactly right, taking great photos and videoing all aspects of their horse and everything that they're capable of. And um, the video keeps getting better and better, and the horses are truly um, something that would fit anyone's program out there on a big outfit or, or, or a ranch. And we even have some really great performance horses. Mm -hmm. We have a steer tripping horse. We have a lot of calf horses. A lot of great diversity. And we something keep growing. for everyone. Something right? for everyone. And need there's it, a lot of do you need anything? I'm good right now, but uh, <laughs> we got plenty of horses at Barber Ranch. But do you have some good kid horses in there every yes. time too, don't we? Yes, we do have a few really great kid horses. And um, I do have to say, you know, I own a miniature donkey, Fiesta. And um, Fiesta won't be in the sale. But He's uh, going to be in the spring sale, right? <laughs> no, no. I just don't think I could ever part with him. He's only <laughs> 9 or 10. They live to be. Who knows? Well, I remember old. when I was at that Hereford sale back in May and they had the little miniature donkey and I know. you know, I was this close to buying it for you. I know. He went he was a little pricey though. I bought Fiesta for ten bucks at the Billings livestock <laughs> yard about three years ago. Your miniature donkey had a little bigger price. Yeah, I don't tag. remember what he sold for, but it wasn't definitely was not ten bucks. Yeah, months. yeah. But anyway, so Fiesta's not gonna be in the sale, so don't worry about that. But we do have a really great horses here. And uh, Jason and I are gonna quit talking and show you the preview right now. Lot 1, Sunfrost Hancock, a 2002 AQHA Red Roan Gelding. Affectionately known as Sunny, this neat gelding is one in a million. He's an excellent head horse that will take you to the pay window again and again. This guy is unbelievable in the box. He scores like a statue and he sets up a great run every time. 
He runs hard, rates good, and faces well. Sonny can work cattle all day if needed. He's great in the pasture or works the trails for anyone. He's easy to clip, shoe, and bathe with great ground manners and personality. Sonny is an easy keeper at home or when being hauled. Lot 2, Smart Raylena Oak, a 2007 AQHA APHA Red Roan Gelding. Jerry is a five-year-old that can literally do it all. A flashy Red Roan flax in mane and tail and lots of chrome, he is truly one of a kind. He loves kids and you can see it in his eyes when they come around. He will sort in the pens and push cattle outside with the kid on his back all day long. Jerry loves to watch a cow he cuts and tracks outside. He will work a rope for you to doctor by yourself. He will hold his own on a cow as well. A great cow horse and breakaway prospect for you and then your kids can go ride and bareback anytime. Jerry is a finished ranch horse with his whole life ahead of him. Lot 5, Keo's Wacky Wilbur, a 2008 AQHA Buckskin Gelding. Keo's Wacky Wilbur is well started and ready to go in any direction. He's been worked in a pasture, ridden fence lines, and been ridden in an arena. Keo's has had 60 days professional training. He loads well, stands for the farrier, hauls well, and does not have any bad habits. He's stalled at night and turned out during the day. All around Keo's has a great disposition. He is up to date on all of his shots and worming. This horse has a great start for ranch work or rope horse. The Superior Fall Horse Auction will be Saturday, November 3rd, live on RFD-TV, beginning at 2 p.m. Central. From all around ranch horses, roping, reining, and cutting horses, this Superior Auction is not to be missed. If you're in need of a Superior Horse, call us today for your buyer number at 800-431-4452 or go online to see the horses at superiorlivestock.com. Lot 8, Zan's Gray Angel, a 2007 AQHA Gray Mare. Zan's Gray Angel is a good-minded, solid mare with lots of cow. She's been used on a cow-calf and yearling operation and can do all phases of ranch work. She has just started roping calves in the arena and has been trained on pole bending for high school rodeos. Lot 9, Silver Savannah, a 2010 AQHA Gray Mare. Sis was bred, born, and raised on the ranch and is one of the prettiest horses at Diamond M Ranch. 
Already passing 15 hands, when she fills out, she will be one stout mare. She carries herself beautifully with a perfect headset, collects and extends her gates, and would make a great show prospect. Sis is a sensitive horse that responds to the slightest cue, and with the right handling and training, she would make an awesome reigning horse. She's flashy, has a great head on her shoulders, has a curious disposition, and is willing to try whatever you ask her to do. Lot 10, Rimrock Sapopin, a 2003 AQHA Blue Roan Gelding. Roscoe is a nine-year-old Blue Roan Gelding that is driftwood bred, top and bottom. He stands 15 one hands and he's solid and strong. Roscoe has been used on both the heading and healing ends. He has a big enough motor to get you to a steer quick and yet he's very controllable. He runs hard and flat, rates well, faces good and moves well off your leg. He is easy to ride, gentle, and always wants to please. He enjoys attention, he's easy to catch, and super mild-mannered with other horses. He's the kind of horse you don't have to ride every day. Lot 12, New Cash Tonino, a 2000 AQHA Brown Gelding. New Cash Tonino is a super all-around horse, affectionately known as Colonel. This gelding is a treat to ride in the pasture as well as the arena. Started by Dean Ames and in training with Yancey Performance Horses, this gelding has quite the handle on him. He's gathered cattle out in the open and drags one at branding time. He will work a gate, loads well and stands for the farrier. He neck reins, moves off your leg, and is well broke. This fine gelding is great on the trail over creeks and brush. By the million dollar sire Newcash, Colonel is a gorgeous horse to look at and has a disposition to match. Lot 13. Dual X Breeze, a 2005 AQHA Buckskin Gelding. Hondo has been used in the Eagle Cap Wilderness and as a ranch horse since he was three years old. He's been to over 10 brandings each year since then and has no problem crossing water and is good on the trail. You can shoot a gun by him or from his back. He's easy to catch, shoe, and he hauls well. Hondo was shown in the Oregon Rain Cow Horse Shows as a Snaffle Bit and Hackamore Horse. He is sound, 15 one hands and 1150 pounds. Lot 14, Starlight Special, a 2008 AQHA Palomino Gelding. Starlight Special is a gentle-minded four-year-old gelding with 120 plus days riding on him. He's been ridden in the pasture, feed yard, and has been well started heading and healing, and he's ready to haul. This is a gelding you can do anything on, whatever the job or pleasure may be. He goes easily from the pasture to the arena. He has enough body and frame to do anything you need him to do, with lots of color too.
check out these exclusive private treaty offerings from the world-renowned Angus breeder, 44 Farms. Offered is an impressive set of both fall bred and spring bred first calf heifers. These heifers come right from the heart of the 44 replacement program. Also offered is an outstanding set of young fall and spring bred cows. These cows are three to six years old and backed with a proven record. All females are bred to and sired by the best of the 44 herd sires. Call Doug Slattery for more information and to discuss the bull calf buyback program. The Working Ranch Cowboys Association brings you their 17th World Championship Ranch Rodeo November 8th through the 11th in Amarillo, Texas. Championship Ranch Bronc Riding, Ranch Rodeo Events, Cowboy Poetry, and a great trade show. The Amarillo Civic Center is where all the cowboys and cowgirls will be. Superior Livestock Auction and Superior Productions too. Come find our booth on the North Concourse. For more information, log on to WRCA.org and we'll see you there. Join Superior Livestock on Thursday, December 13th at noon central for our Superior Dairy Auction. Featuring dairy replacement heifers and springers on RFD TV. Do you have dairy cattle that you'd like to sell? Or are you in the market to buy? Contact Superior Livestock today at 800-422-2117 or learn more about our upcoming auctions at superiorlivestock.com and market your cattle the superior way. Lot 15, Marty, a 2004 Bay Gelding. Marty stands at 15 one hands and weighs 1170 pounds. This big guy is sound in every way and great to look at. He's been used for ranch work for three years. He's gentle and easy to handle. He was leased to a youth camp for the summer of 2012. Marty ties, loads, and hauls well. Lot 16, Don't Bug the Colonel, a 2002 APHA Tobiano Gelding. Known as Bill, him and his owner have had many adventures and he's earned lots of awards in 4-H and local horse shows. They have also been quite successful in the APHA show ring. This colorful gelding enjoys working cows either in the show ring and on the Great Basin Desert. He's earned several awards, including APHA Youth Limited Cow Horse, Youth Reigning, and Open Reigning. This good-looking gelding has been roped off of in the branding pin, used as a turnback horse at local cuttings, and also as a lesson horse. He was featured on the cover of the July 2010 Paint Horse Journal. Lot 17, RG at 420, a 2004 AQHA Gray Gelding. Louie is an 8-year-old, 15 three hands and 1,300 pounds. A big and heavy sound gentle gelding with excellent breeding. Louie rides collected and soft in the bridle during any ranch work and has pinned back cattle at the sale barn. A finished head horse that has been hauled to rodeos and jackpots for several years. Louie is quiet in the box, leaves flat, runs hard, and has a lot of rate. He's strong to the horn and really takes a hold of cattle through the corner. He stays framed up across the pen and faces smooth and quick.
Lot 18. DMR Silver Bell, a 2009 AQHA Palomino Mare. DMR Miss Silver Bell was bred, born, and raised on the ranch. This cute little filly has so much potential and is a favorite on the place due to her willing attitude and gentle disposition. If you want a horse to use in cutting or working cow horse, this is your horse. She naturally works off her hindquarters and has a big stop. She would also excel in reining. Her circles are beautiful, she's light and soft, and if you pick up the reins, she will come back to you. June, as they call her, has been hauled to play days, worked the flag, started working and checking cows, and trail ridden. Lot 21, PT Cowboys Lady, a 2008 AQHA Sorrel Mare. This mare is ranch and arena broke and almost ready to go to jackpots for money. This mare's dam has produced several good fast horses and her sire has proven himself with several money earners. She's roped both ends and been to some brandings. She loads, hauls, ties well and is good in the box. This nice mare is ready to go to work for you as a head or heel horse. Express Ranch is located in Yukon, Oklahoma, is ranked as the largest seed stock producer in the United States by the National Cattlemen's Beef Association. Express features six Angus production sales annually, offering industry-leading breeding bulls and females for the purebred and commercial cattlemen. Let Express be your destination for your next herd sire or foundation female. Call Express today for more information, and we'll see you at the next sale. Lot 23, Peppy's Two Dock, a 2002 AQHA Sorrel Mare. Peppy's Two Dock is a real nice mare that is quiet enough for any rider, but has plenty of go to get any job done. Peppy is very well broke and could go show in raining or cow horse with a little tune-up or a great ranch and trail horse. Lot 24, Done It Like a Leewood, a 2003 AQHA Dun Gelding. Done It Like a Leewood is stocky made and put together very well. This is a horse that anyone can ride. Laid back and gentle and he trail rides anywhere. He's been heading and healing slower steers and would make a nice team sorting or pinning horse for a novice rider. Lot 30, Snowball, a 2004 Appaloosa Gelding. Snowball has been used in all phases of ranch work, including dragging and sorting. He's roped cattle, including bulls. He's led wild cattle out of rough country and has been packed in the wilderness for elk hunting. He's been a pickup horse for Bronx and drug bulls out of the arena, as well as carried the American flag at the rodeo.
Lot 37, a 2012 Elite three-horse custom trailer. Take a look at this new 2012 Elite three-horse custom trailer with eight foot, eight inch living quarters. The trailer has a hydraulic jack, dual batteries, LP tanks, spare tires, drop down windows on head side with low catches, drop down window bars, collapsible rear track, mangers, full stud panel, escape door with fold up step, graphics, load lights, and more. Living quarters includes a six foot sofa sleeper, cooktop, microwave, sink, refrigerator with a freezer, AM FM CD player, TV prep, speakers, AC with heat strip, LP gas furnace, bathroom with vanity, shower, and a walk-through door to the horse area, large corner closet, and a sink. It is full warranty. Well, Jason, I have to say those horses, uh, I told you there were some really good ones in there. Yeah, I'm, uh, now I'm almost a little bit sad I'm not going to be here for that sale. So. Yeah, well, uh, we have really something for everyone. Uh, whether it's performance horses, rope horses, ranch and horses, young horses, older horses, and uh, kids' horses, everything in between. You just saw that uh, everything on the video there is really great. Now, on sale day, like all these other sales, you'll actually be there in the studio with the microphone, interviewing <laughs> consigners and running around the studio, uh, right? Well, yeah, we, uh, consigners and every, every, there's anyone's welcome, I guess, to come to the studio. And it does get pretty full, and some consigners do come to watch their horses sell on the video and so I do have the opportunity to visit with them and if they have any comments that they want to say about their horses I certainly give them the floor and I'm up on the block with Ralph reading pedigrees. Horse, and that's another thing about this sale <laughs> even though it's you know broadcast on television we've got the big phone bank there's a lot of people that come and they're in the studio in person watching their horse sell but on top of that there's also a lot of buyers that come right. in so they're in person bidding so if you're interested in a horse, feel free to come to our studio and bid there on yeah, Sunday. Yeah, we'd love to have you. Come to the Fort Worth Stockyards in the Livestock Exchange Building. Superior takes up, uh, I don't want to say majority of the first floor, but our studio is a pretty big part right when you walk in the It is. Right you when know, you walk sometimes we even run TVs outside into the foyer there and it, it gets a little crowded. Yeah, yeah. You're even there cleaning up uh, the tiles afterwards, huh? Because you, <laughs> you get yourself in trouble. <laughs> Stockyards managers love me down here. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, folks, we hope that uh, you enjoyed that preview of all the horses. As always, you can log on to superiorlivestock.com to see more great horses. And in addition to that, if you are in need of a buyer's number, call us here at 800-431-4452 and we can get you a buyer number for uh, Saturday's auction. We do like to get a buyer's number to you before actually the sale begins. So if you want to call now just to get one to be safe, we'd love to visit with you. Stay with us. We'll be back uh, right after this. Join Superior Productions as we team up with the 2012 World Championship Appaloosa Show and broadcast their World Appaloosa Sale live October 31st at 6 p.m. Central on SuperiorClickToBid.com. Log on to view live streaming video, bid and buy through Superior Productions. For more information and to register as a buyer, call us today at 800-431-4452 or log on to SuperiorLivestock.com. Dust off those boots and come join us in Tampa, Florida for the 2013 Boots on the Bay Cattle Industry Annual Convention and NCBA Trade Show. This is your chance to network with industry leaders, participate in important cattle industry meetings, and learn about the newest technologies available. See what all the buzz is about at the Cattle Industry Annual Convention and NCBA Trade Show in Tampa, Florida, February 6th through the 9th. For more information, visit BeefUSA.org. It's Boots on the Bay, the 2013 NCBA Convention and Trade Show, a unique, fun environment for cattle industry members to come together and have some fun in the sun. And while you're there, check out Superior Livestock, your one source for all your livestock marketing needs. Superior has answers for marketing your livestock nationwide, including marketing cattle 24-7, 365 on Superior's country page. So shine your boots and we'll see you in Tampa. Spurs are optional. Jason, I'm now going to let you get back into 
your upcoming schedule. Okay. You know, <laughs> one thing that I wanted to touch on before I got back to this, and you talked about it before we ran a commercial at the end of the horse preview, but people need to call in and sign up for that sale ahead of time because it's amazing on these horse sales we have, any of them, with the price of horses lately, there will be people that will see the horse on television. Right. And, you know, and, and of course, we don't lock it in the case of this because we want our consigners to get the most money that they can for sure. them. But a lot of these horse sales uh, lately, some of the horses go so cheap that people see it on television. They call in and they try to sign up right then. Right. And there's so many people calling in the entire time that the 800 number rings off the hook. And it's been to the point where we've signed up you know over 100 people after the sales been right, yeah. started and there's been people that have been trying to call through to sign up the entire time and never got through till after the sale right. was over just, yeah but it's just amazing how how the 800 numbers flooded on right. horse sale days. yeah no you're exactly right but i i wouldn't necessarily say that they're inexpensive but some of them um can run you know in everyone's price range kind of like bull sales yeah. you go from you know a, an average price all the way up to i guarantee you will have some that'll sell in anywhere from 10 to fifteen thousand, just because mm -hmm. of their accolades but then we have great use in horses that i'm sure will average around 4500 and uh, those are my kind of horses sure, I like sure. That. and honestly <laughs> most of the horses in our spear family horse sales sell pretty well so. yes without and, a doubt and last the last auction we had in the spring, and I don't want to speak out of turn here, but I think we sold close to 33 or 35. We had 35 consigned, and I think we sold 32 of them on the auction, and then the last three that uh, needed a little bit more money, folks called in because they really wanted them, and we sold them that right afternoon. After. Mm -hmm. yeah. So uh, that's a really, really strong auction, yeah. honestly. Yeah, okay, let's get okay. into uh, your schedule here. Okay, well, really, uh, <laughs> I'm just going to run through these quick, but we've got Mitty Angus Ranch Fall Production Sale coming up uh, into November. Then we've got Stevenson's Diamond Dot Annual Fall Production Sale, uh, followed the next day by Stevenson Angus Ranch Fall Production Sale. So it's the uh, uh, Stevenson family up there on right. both of these. Um, of course, they'll be really good auctions. They've been customers of Superior for a long time. Uh, moving forward past that, we'll also, the very end of November, have a Sitz Angus Genetic Influence Female Sale. And this will be a sale where we just have a lot of commercial bred heifers and stuff, but they're all can pretty much be sired or bred to Sitz bulls, so it'll be a really strong one. Then and we, we see sits, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to catch up, sure. but we see sits um, on superior progressive genetics a lot on the commercial side. We do. Side. Uh, you know, sits Angus, they sell, uh, have two production cells, one in the spring and one in the fall. That's bull cells, and they're large bull cells. They sell several hundred, and it's honestly one of the better cells in Montana pretty easily. Yeah, great. So then moving into December, uh, we're actually going to start, well, before I get in, into December, we've got a uh, superior livestock auction here in Fort Worth. It's Friday, uh, November 30th. Oh, okay, great. I'll so, be there. Mm -hmm. I'll be there with we'll be doing <laughs> sunrise that morning. Yeah, we'll be doing sunrise. Maybe I can get you uh, to sit on sunrise with me and talk about more bull auctions. Yeah, if I'm here, we'll see <laughs> see what I can do for you. But uh, after that, we actually do get right into December, and the first day of December is a Saturday, and it's going to be Eagle Pass Ranch's internet sale. It'll be a uh, they'll be selling balancer heifers and young cows from the ranch, and this one's actually going to be back in Highmore, South Dakota. Okay. You know, we did that one Eagle Pass sale back in uh, California. Right, yeah, in, uh, in Das Palace. If that's how you say it. <laughs> <laughs> then after that, uh, just running through these quickly again, but we'll get the six, Sitz Angus Ranch fall production sale. It's uh, Thursday, December 6th, then that next day is going to be KG Ranch. It'll be their 16th annual Angus production sale. These ranches are pretty close to each other, and they both sell a lot of good Angus bulls. So If you're in that region, you mm -hmm. have a double whammy right there. That's right. And then uh, on the 8th of December, we'll have Sandpoint Genetic Influence commercial female sale, similar to the sale we've got for Sitz the end of November, but it'll be Sandpoint, obviously. Uh, then Monday, December 10th, will be Cross Diamond Cattle Company's production sale. be really good Red Angus bulls offered. Right. Then we're going to have another Superior Dairy Auction here in Fort Worth on Thursday, December 13th. We are, and those dairy auctions have really taken off. Uh, Chad Lowry, the manager of our dairy division, has done a really great job. And um, in addition to having consignments of dairy heifers and springers and replacements, um, he also has been um, having a lot of dispersals. And you know, you and I mm -hmm. always talk that dispersals are really tough, but um, we're glad that we have an outlet for those uh, fa farms and families to utilize RFD for... Um, <laughs> Never a dull moment down here in the no, stockyard. So, yeah, we can hear that train. But um, 
the dairies, uh, the dairy division has done an excellent job helping a lot of farms. And if people are in wanting to get in the dairy business, look no further because we have a lot of great dairy cattle. Yeah, and just like you said, a lot of dispersals. This last Friday, Joe Lichty was out in Idaho at one, and I was on the phone with them here in Fort Worth to turn in bids the whole time. But we sold quite a few lots over Superior on right. that, and it was a good one. Joe said the crowd was good there. Of course, following that, we had just a regular uh, Superior Dairy Consignment auction, and yeah. it, it went pretty well. Yeah, great. So uh, anyway, wrapping up our schedule, this is going to be our last What did you just say? Wrapping up our schedule. Really? <laughs> I told you I was going to run I don't feel it. like we've gotten to the end of this December page ever. Oh, uh, no, but <laughs> we are today, Katie. But uh, be our last Superior Livestock Auction commercial uh, cattle sale here, uh, I guess, the 2012. It's going to be Friday, December 14th. Be here in Fort Worth, of course. Gosh. Katie will be doing Superior Sunrise that morning. Yeah, well. And uh, that's our last SLA sale. We've got one more production sale on the on the calendar, and it's going to be Brooks Chalky Butte Ranch Female Reduction Sale in Bowman, North Dakota, on Saturday, December fifteenth. Will you be there? I've never been to the Dakotas. Have you? Um, yes, I have. Uh, John Andrus, though, will oh, be okay. at this one. Okay. So. I cannot believe that we are approaching the end of 2012 that's when we're going to be doing all of our christmas greetings and we you know we got to get all these thanksgiving promos getting together i can't believe it 2012 is almost gone i know you know <laughs> honestly it's it's a nice little run here in the office after december 15th right it slows down for just a little bit just a little bit and then you get us hot on our tails again for january and all your mm -hmm. spring sales so. yeah and i mean the spring's even busier than the fall so right right well uh thank you for uh, making time for me today in auction block i know you got to go get on a plane here and uh, folks i really hope you enjoyed the preview of all the great horses that kelly keller has done such a great job compiling over the past few months and um Watch on this or watch on RFD TV this Saturday beginning at 2 p.m. Central for a great horse auction. Ralph, uh, world champion auctioneer Ralph Wade and I will be on hand and then you'll be at uh, the sale that what's the one that starts at noon? It's uh, Burns Farms out in Tennessee. Oh, right. And that's where you'll be. Yeah, really so good have Herford fun. sale. I will. You do the same. <laughs> All right, folks. We want to thank you for joining us this week on Auction Block and we will see you right back here this time next week.